Hey, what's the word, you two? What's the word, you tizzle? What's the word, you tizzle? What's the word, you? What's going on, man? Hey, man, today, man, look, we got Elvis Presley, Money Honey, man. Uh, Elvis got his mouth cock wide open on this thumbnail, man. Uh, y'all gonna see it pretty soon once I go ahead and change it over. But check me out, though, man. We got Elvis Presley, bro. Now, shout out to Shirley Carr. She be in my live streams, man, for the past two days. She been asking me to watch Elvis Presley, Money Honey. Uh... I had I only want to watch Elvis Presley on live, bro, because my videos get blocked when I do that. But we got Money Honey. I, I promised I was going to make a video. So here we are today. We got Money Honey by Elvis Presley. I will be having two other Elvis videos coming out tonight. One will be the movie. Change of Habit Part 2 is coming out tonight. And then the other one is I just got done watching that. I can't remember. It should be up probably before this or after this video. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get straight to it, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. See, yeah, when he was younger, he was definitely trying a whole bunch of new different things. I could tell when he was younger, he was kind of trying everything. It sounds like when he got older, he kind of found his groove and found his lane because when he was when he was older, he was coming with a different delivery. You know what I'm saying? He was coming with a different style. I wonder if y'all, when y'all was young, coming up with Elvis, if y'all knew that he would turn out to start making the songs he was making when he got older. I wonder if y'all knew that he was going to get, get in that way. You probably did, because he probably did know. You probably thought he was going to make songs just like this for the whole time, huh? It's crazy how evolution works, man. Change and evolve and getting better, man. Like It's crazy how that works. And then when you see the progress, you see the journey, man. It's just a it's a beautiful thing to see, man. Let it ring for a long, long spell. I went to the window. I peeked through the blind. Got not ask him to tell me what was on his mind. He said, Yeah, see, I peeped. He didn't do this type of stuff when he was older, bro. But he did this in that one movie. He was doing this all the time. What movie was that? Uh, The one with Peggy. Is that Jailhouse Rock? Yeah. No. King Creole. King Cre no, it is Jailhouse Rock because he got out of jail and Peggy and the yeah and the other guy from jail yeah yeah so it is Jailhouse Rock yeah and Jailhouse Rock actually I'm about to, I might be watch that movie I actually like that movie for real is it Jailhouse Rock Peggy was in Jailhouse Rock right because they got their, they stole this record. But I feel like that jail scene was so long. I feel like it was two. I feel like that was two different movies, man. The first part was the jail, and that was long as hell. And then he got out and he made it big. And then his old jail friend tried to come back and be with him and everything. But was it King Creole? Let me see, bro. I'm kind of confused a little bit. Let me see something real quick. Hold on, my fault. Elvis Peggy. Is this right? Is it is it Jailhouse Rock? Yeah, this lady right here. That's Peggy, ain't it? No, that's not Peggy. It is her, yeah. Yeah. She looked different in these pictures. Yeah, that's her. So it is Jailhouse Rock. So in Jailhouse Rock. He was doing that, a do, a do, a do, a do, a do, a do, and then the beat would come in. Like, he was doing that a lot in that movie, bro. He was like snapping his fingers, doing his little, uh, what is it, with his legs. And this right here, I peeped, so, and he was younger in that, so I noticed that he evolved, and he kept on changing and getting better. I didn't, I don't see him in his later performances doing stuff like that. I, I want to say, I want to say doing childish stuff like that because... Him doing that older would be weird. It would seem like he would be acting childish. You know what I'm saying? Not that that's a childish thing, but it would it would come off that way though. You know? Bro, he sounds different in this. Baby, about a half past three. She said it like a 
know what you want with me. I said, yeah. Money, honey. <laughs> Money, honey. Damn, this an old ass song, bro. I can tell. Money, honey. I wonder like 20, 40, 50 years from now, how kids gonna be listening to our music saying, this is an old ass song. Cause some of y'all might feel some type of way about me saying this is an old ass song, but it really is an old ass song just in the creativity and the sound of it, it's an old ass song. So I know I might be hurt 50 years from now, me watching a kid on YouTube saying, Damn, this is an old ass song. It's one of my favorite songs, you know what I'm saying? But a reality hurts, it's hard to face the truth. This is a very old song. I'm sorry, it's an old song. That's funny when he do that. <laughs> bro, he sound young as hell in this though, man. He sounds so young, bro. He sound young as hell, bro. Damn, he sound young on here, man. God damn, he sound young on here, man. For real. <laughs> He said, if you want to get along with me, you got to be money hungry. That's 100, bro. Learn the lesson and now I know. The sun may shine and the winds may blow. The women may come and the women may go. But before I say I love you. My honey. Yeah, you see, he was doing that a lot in his older songs. He wasn't really doing this too much in his newer songs where he kind of stops the beat and then talks like that, then gets back to his songs uh, and gets back to the beat. Now, just me hearing this, uh, especially seeing that this is his younger days, and I remember I seen Elvis in the black community, Echo That Would Never Die, I know I seen that. Now look, that just kinda, I, 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 let me say this, let me put the best play real quick. <laughs> Okay, now look, that just, I can see why, not that I agree with it or I understand, but I can see why some of the old racist white people back then didn't like when he would perform songs like this and shake his knees. I can see why they would say to a small-minded, ignorant individual, they might say this is like a sexual song. Off of him, oh, wait, I got a go and get away from me. Stuff like that. I can see why they might think that that's like a sexual way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause it, it does have like that that vibe to it. I could tell that. And especially somebody shaking their knees doing that. I can see how they would say that, but it's, it's art, it's music. It's literally like music, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that's a good enough reason to ban somebody or try to like blackball somebody or stop somebody from making it to the top but i guess they said at one point the radio shot to not play him but at one point he just broke through he was so big that he broke through and he just they had to play him so uh but that's crazy to me man and y'all was telling me he's the first artist to ever even like move around on stage other artists wasn't even doing stuff like that so imagine a new artist from today say i start doing music right and then I do some stuff that would be like considered different or random or weird right right now, but after you're doing it, everybody else starts doing it. For example, Elvis, like he's the first one to move around on stage. I'm pretty sure back then it was probably like, what, this is so random, it's different, it's just weird. But now it's weird, to, it's not weird, but like it's kind of different to stand still in one place now. Now it's normal to move around, stuff like that. So imagine 
you just creating that new thing. You probably can't even fathom what that new thing would be until you just do it, you know? Like going on stage, probably like hold the microphone upside down the whole time. <laughs> that might be the next normal thing. It's, it's, you never know with humans, man. We always got a new, unique way of doing things. Or we always call it unique, but unique is not even a real thing. You know, it's just because our, uh, our so formulated and day-to-day -day same life, same based society as a, as a majority. We do the same things every day that stuff like that would be considered unique, but really it's not unique. We can all be, we can always, we can, we can really go and explore that unique word and go deep into that world, but we have jobs to do. So that qualifies us to do kind of like the same routine thing every day, like a schedule that this would be considered, that that would be like something different would be considered unique. Like for example, right? Going bungee jumping on your birthday would be a unique thing, but really what makes it unique because you don't do stuff like that on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Because you're going to work every day. You know what I'm trying to say? That would be considered unique. But hey, man, I'm about to make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit that subscribe button for real, man. Make sure you hit that comment button for real, man. This is not a gang thing. This is no gang or nothing. This is like, subscribe, comment, and then subscribe again. We going, though, man. Let's get it, man. Yeah. Yeah.